<laughs> but um, Ian is just messy, in my opinion. And why is it that he's not like? I feel like men, when they want to have two women, or are aren't mature enough, is what I'm going to use. Hmm to say that he's not quite sure what he wants, why they won't say it. And now he's got these two women who do what women normally do, blame each other, instead of really holding him accountable. Mm. How do you view that as a man? And it's got to be a lot of fun to play that as an actor. Yeah, as an actor, I had so much fun. You know, I have so much fun each each and every scene, each and every episode, uh, from season one to season two, fingers crossed and beyond. I would say that... Um, you know, there's definitely a certain immaturity if you're if you're kind of caught in between two places. I feel like one of the reasons that he's really caught in between them, or really why he can't let Camille go, is because I feel like he knows, as as deep as he is in love with her, I feel like he knows that they have unfinished business. You know, and um, <clears throat> you know, they loved each other coming out of college, and you know that flame was never dead, even as he's in this new relationship. But I feel like he knows they never gave it a real shot as, as uh, you know, as adults, as mature adults. You know, ones that have a high emotional IQ and can, you know, be committed enough to really try to give it a real shot. Um, so with that being said, I feel like that's what kind of, um, towards the, you know, season one and towards the end, he's definitely caught in between the two. I feel like um, he grows into some of that maturity as we get into season two because he has committed to, he has committed to one. And he has, um, you know, put both feet in the relationship as opposed to one foot in, one foot out, which is where I kind of feel like he was at in season one. Um, in season two, he grows into a, he grows into a man. All right, and Ariana, you have the next question. Uh, happy again. Um, how much of it do you think? I mean, excuse me, Tyler. How much do you think um, Ian's growth in having, like, especially with Camille? I think. When we are in college, right, we're getting to learn ourselves as women. It's the first time a lot of us that we're on our own and we get to make decisions for ourselves. Yeah. And then there's something that happens when you get into your 30s, you're more sure of yourself. Some mm -hmm. of the insecurities fall away. And I think for men, a lot of times it's hard to when they meet us again in that stage in your life because <clears> you <throat> fell in love with one version of ourselves to be like, wait a minute. The things we used to tolerate, we no longer tolerate, and our demands become more clear and precise. Mm -hmm. And how much do you think of that is Ian having to adjust with Camille, being like, okay, wait a minute, this is not, or, you know, how much of that you feel like is also going on with them? Um, I think a lot. You know, when it comes to something like that, you know, I feel like, again, going from college, moving into your 30s, whether it's a relationship with ourselves or with a significant other, you know, I really, truly feel like at the core of me, no matter how good or bad things are, like, your relationships will always continue to redefine themselves, right? It's like, you know, my relationship with my mom when I was five is different than it is now at 35. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if you are going to, you know, be with someone at one stage in the life and for whatever reason it takes you away and then it, and it circles you back, you're going to have to, um, you know, take take enough respect and enough time to relearn them because, you know, they, they've changed at this point. Like you said, we're not going to tolerate the same things. You know, just like I know myself uh, on a deeper level now at 35 than I did at 25, you know, Camille's going to feel the same way. And if we want to step back into that, if we want to do it justice, we have to allow time to relearn them. And it's all, it's like, um, you know, I feel like that's, uh, you know, that's justified too. Because if we're just going to jump back in it like it was the same as the past, we're probably going to have the same results as we did in the past. You know, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you know, when you when you know better, you do better. Hi, Taylor. Um, the other thing is, you know, I feel like it's also important to see. I, one thing I like about the show, everyone does have a career, and especially your character. Um, you know, with whatever flaws that they may be, you know, he is an educated man. Mm -hmm. How important is that? You know, he is a man that is responsible in his business side. How important is that for you to portray? Because I think too often when we have a man in these situations, he's problematic, he's, you know, anti-women. And in this particular case, I just think that, you know, as you stated, Ian is growing as a man. He's learning how to navigate relationships better, but he is together on his business side. Yeah, I think it's important that, um, you know, he's, he's, getting, he's getting his uh, his business together. Like, again, if we look at it from that business point of view, like, even even within that theme of what's going on, 
you know, <clears throat> he's trying to figure out and, and get a hold on, like, you know, his business acumen, if you will. He's got this great idea, and it's, it's such a unique idea, too. Who thinks about bringing fine French cuisine to Harlem? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like he's, he's this big dreamer. He succeeds in doing it. But then he's got to figure out what it's like after you get that initial success. What is it like when you have a few down months and you don't have mommy and daddy bankrolling you? You got to figure that out as a businessman. Or to even figure out like the, um, the psychology be behind what's going on with your business. You know, the food is great. You know, he's a Michelin star chef. However, it's rubbing the culture the wrong way. He's, he's, he's being, you know, one of the way they look at it is one of our own are gentrifying us. You know what I'm saying? You got to figure that out as a businessman. You know, what does this mean to my people outside of the fact that the, the food is delicious? You know, so like, you know, even that theme helps him grow into a man in this season two. Like that's kind of where, that's kind of where his art goes in season two. Like Ian grows into a man. <clears throat> All right.